The Worcester County Health Department, in partnership with the Worcester County's Healthiest Maryland Businesses, presents monthly nutrition tips and fitness fit videos. These videos will feature simple and fun activities and recipes you can try at home. Our goal is to promote healthy eating and regular physical activity, which can reduce the risk for chronic health problems, such as type 2 diabetes and heart disease. We hope you enjoyed this episode, and remember to eat healthy, be active, and prevent diabetes today. Hi everybody, my name is Zach Townsend, Community Health Educator at the Worcester County Health Department, and I'm here with my special guest today. Hi, I'm Mary Bolin with the Town of Berlin. Alright, so for today's workout, we're going to be really focusing on the shoulders, and the shoulder complex is a really important joint, and a lot of people don't realize how often we use this throughout the day. Anytime we're reaching overhead, for example, for grabbing something out of the cabinet or reaching overhead for anything, reaching forward, we're using those shoulder muscles. So we're going to go through, and just to start off with a warm up, where we're going through and doing some arm rotations and arm circles. Okay. All right. So we're just going to start, arms out, and just doing some small circles going forwards. Perfect. And this is really good for the rotator cuff muscles as we're going through. And now let's go, and we're going to go backwards. Very good. If you wanted to make these a little bit harder, you could always add some type of weight, some resistance. So if you had those small dumbbells, you could use those. The key is with the shoulders, it's a smaller muscle group, so you don't want to go too heavy with these. Perfect. So for our second exercise, we're going to do overhead press, shoulder press. So what we're going to do, we're going to take our arms just like this, uh -huh. and we're going to alternate right and left, just alternating arms. Should you fully Perfect. extend or just kind of... So on these exercises, anytime we're working with the shoulder, you want to go towards your comfortability. So if you're able to get that full extension there, that's fine. But for some people, they might only be able to reach a little bit, you know, whatever you're comfortable with. And you should repeat this about 10 to 15 times, once again, just depending on your current fitness level. All right, so at some point or another, most of us might have felt some shoulder pain, okay? And a lot of times, the rotator cuff, can, that can be the culprit for that. So weak or unstable uh, rotator cuff muscles. So the next exercise that we do is going to be working the rotator cuff muscles. And we're going to go through and basically we're forming letters, all right, with our arms. Okay. So we want to have a little bit of a slight bend, okay, at the hip. So make sure that we're not rounding the shoulders. We don't want to have anything where we're looking like this, that hunchback right. motion. Try to keep that back in a straight line, okay? Mm -hmm. A neutral spine, all right, where we're shifting at the hips. And we're going to form the letters I, Y, and T. Oh, I expected YMCA. So, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, very similar, actually. Very similar to that. So, what we're going to do, make sure you keep that neutral spine, all right, leaning forward. And we're going to take our arms, all right, thumbs are going up. And we're going to form an I. Back down. Now you're going to form a Y. Down. And form that T. And really squeeze those shoulder blades together. That's what okay. we want to focus on there. And going back, repeating, arms straight out, I, forming that Y, squeeze those shoulder blades together, and T. Very good. And you'll really feel this, especially in the shoulders and in the back as well. It's really working that shoulder, that shoulder complex. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we've got all our exercises done. We're going to go through and do a stretch, a shoulder stretch. Okay. And basically, this we're going to take our one arm, mm -hmm. and we're crossing in front of the body. And we're going to take our other arm, mm -hmm. and we're just going to make that hook and come around and kind of hook your arm and pull in towards the body. You should really feel that pull and stretch mm -hmm. in the shoulder there. So after we've gone through and really worked those shoulder muscles, we really need to go through and focus on stretching, increasing our flexibility. And we'll hold these for about 15 seconds. Okay. Okay. And we'll go ahead and we'll switch it up just to get the other arm. Once again, we're crossing in front of the body. Mm -hmm. Take your other arm, kind of hook it up and over, and pull in towards the body and just holding there. And really focusing on feeling that stretch mm -hmm. there in the shoulder. Perfect, very good. These exercises seem like something that I could do right at my desk, especially working on the computer all day, you start to get tight in your back and your shoulders. Exactly. And this would help loosen that back up. Exactly, these are all exercises you can do right at your desk, right at home, and you don't need a lot of equipment for. But certainly if you did have those extra dumbbells or resistance bands, you could incorporate those into your program mm -hmm. and make it a little bit harder. Well, Mary, thank you very much for coming out today. And we got a good workout in. You, hopefully you can feel those shoulders mm -hmm. working there. Yep. Yep. So just remember the message to eat, eat healthy, healthy, be active, active prevent, prevent diabetes, diabetes today. today. For more information, call the Prevention Office at 410-632-0056 
or you can visit our website at worcesterhealth.org.